Hello friends, today I'm going to solve lead code problem number 235, lowest common ancestor of a binary search tree. So we know a binary search tree in it, um, any value to the left is less than the root node and any value to the right is greater than the root node, right? Now we know that thing. And now what is an ancestor? So we are given a Wikipedia definition and I don't want to go you over that. I'll just explain you what an ancestor will be through this diagram. So suppose we have a value 4 and a value 7. Now the ancestor would be the great great grandfather or grandmother, maybe anyone. Uh, so both of them will have the same grandparent so four and seven they have a common ancestor which is six because now they are splitting right from six so that is one way we could actually identify the ancestor because four is splitting from six and seven so these are actually six is where where it divides four and seven because 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 in binary search tree four you know four is less than six so it will be towards the left of this node and seven is greater than six which means that it's towards the right always towards the right which means that six is dividing both four and seven so that is our solution our answer now what if we have something like uh, four and five in that case which is the ancestor well the ancestor could be the node itself so in this case what we see is uh, we check from the very root node is 4 less than 6 or yes it is and what about 5 5 is also less than 6 both are less so we go to the left because every element every node less than the root node goes to the left right so that is where we'll find it to the left of the root node so we go to the left and now we reach 2 now 4 4 is greater than 2 what about 5 it's also greater than 2 right so now we go to the right of 2 which is this subtree here now here we see like 4 is equals to 4 which is our condition to find that to know that we have reached our ancestor so if it 4 is um Four is neither less than four nor greater than four so that is when we found our ancestor and we return our value so yeah um let's dive into the code okay so to solve this problem uh, we are going to use recursion because what we are doing is for each of the node we are checking if uh, p and q lies to the left or to the right and then if uh, we found when we go to the next node we are subtree we are again checking if p and q is to the left of this node or to the right of this node so we are repetitively checking for um for whether the uh, values of p and q are to the left or to the right so that is why we are, will be using recursion here so now if p value is less than the value of root and q is also less than the value of root which means that our answer is to the left so we call lowest okay i'll just copy this call this function and we go to the left and we pass the same value of p and q what if p and q are greater than the root then we are gonna go to the right return uh, root dot right comma p comma q else okay so i need an else if here else we have found our solution so that is where we will return our root okay let me run my code and submit it 
Woo. So the time complexity is O of um what would be the time complexity? Okay, let me think. Um so since we are traversing uh, one node at a time, so it will definitely be less than the total number of nodes in this route. Uh, because every time we are dividing our search space by half okay i'm not sure what the time complexity would be but if any one of you know what the time complexity would be then please let me know on the comments below okay have a great day guys